Welcome back Spartans. Today we are doing gemming our level 34 queen to level 35. Pretty awesome. Now guys, you know I've been farming my heroes to max and obviously here's the war I was in and I definitely was not doing so hot. I needed my queen so guys, I just failed this raid on the number two guy and I was like screw it, I need my queen. So unfortunately for my second raid I did have to gem her done but it's only time, it wasn't resources um, so I definitely don't count that as cheating. I obviously don't really care about gemming time because obviously as the leader of my clan I need to be able to attack and not fail against the top players and having my queen would have secured the win on that raid. However, we didn't have her. So we do have her now and we're going to go ahead and show you a raid and I'm going to cut to level 35 queen raid. Here we go. Alright guys, so as you can see we have our level 35 queen here and we're testing her out. Now guys, as I said. The reason I did gem her done was that I was in a war and I lost my first attack not having my queen against the number two player. So I gemmed her done and then I attacked the number nine player with Garch and Rectum. And that's <laughs> sounded messed up, my bad. Anyway guys, this is pretty solid here. Just coming from the bottom of this base with our loons and our minions. And obviously we are crushing it without too much of a problem. Those double rage spells really do help out a lot. And as you can see, we are not going to get either of those actual, oh my god, we didn't get either of those ARD, that's terrible. But not a big issue, we're not going for that, we're going for 50%, and a lot of our minions are distracted by the level 32 queen unfortunately. But here come our heroes, king and queen are down, we're going for the town hall. Can we get it? That's the real question. It's going to be close, now I could have dropped a couple minions on the outside, but I cleared out most of the buildings. We're going to focus on these heroes though. And hopefully you guys enjoyed this. I know I've been completely farming my heroes, but obviously I don't think it counts as gemming if I just gem the time done because I needed them for a war. But level 35 nonetheless is pretty awesome. Super pumped to get level 40 heroes and still working on them quite a bit. King has gone down. The queen is on the town hall and it's over, guys. We're going to get the win for two stars. Pretty solid. And the queen is still out of range of most of the defenses, which is great. Unfortunately, she's getting a little too close here to death, so we're going to invis her, get rid of that Inferno Tower, and now it's going to end pretty quickly. We're just going to go for as much of this dark as we can before she dies, and unfortunately, she goes down way too fast. But 17 trophies, pretty solid, and on screen, we're going to be pulling up an awesome raid by Gorilla Man. He's in charge of the Clash of Clans wiki, and he is also going to be doing his first raid ever that gets him to champions. So he's never been to champions before and here's the raid that does it. It's really awesome. So I recorded it. Want to give him a little bit of shout out and uh, hopefully you guys enjoy. I'll have another raid or two after this but want to talk about a few things while we watch these raids. I'll commentate in between but guys tomorrow I will be doing a super cool video. Uh, it'll be a face cam with Tiff Tiff 2612 excuse me and she's actually sitting right next to me giving me a dirty stare for saying her name wrong. But anyway guys we'll be doing a face cam about building a Town Hall 9 version of my Town Hall 10 troll base, which I made the video the best troll base ever on because it wins so much. And she's a Town Hall 9, so we built it on hers. It was a little bit of a team collab on it. And I'll have the link to my best troll base ever video right now on screen. So click that, check it out if you missed it. But stay tuned for tomorrow because it's going to be really, really exciting to watch. And a lot of you Town Hall 9s will be able to build it. And I'm sure some Town Hall 8s could even try and change it and make it fit their base too. So, as we can see here, Gorilla Man has gotten the 54%, and he got the Town Hall, so he's already winning. And, as you can hear, my Clash of Clans loading up. I'm trying to play and commentate at the same time. You know what's up, guys. And here we go. His King and Queen are down. He put them a little bit out of range, but in order to get through this wall, he kind of bunched them together, which I think was a mistake. I'd have split the King and Queen up on opposite sides of the base, uh, but he does do a very good job here. As you can see, he does go ahead and rage the king in a couple seconds, I believe. I think, I'm, yep, there he is. All right, so the king is raged, and he's going to clear this center. Now, it does get a little irritating in a few seconds, you're going to see why. This skeleton trap pulls the king back. Obviously, it always does. The queen ignored it, luckily. But now, the king is going to go off and start hitting a wall instead of going after the wizards. Now, I have no clue why he's doing this. He's super close to two wizard towers. Why would you go through a wall to get to a clan castle? I have no clue. He did, however, leave his queen out to dry there and take a bunch of hits from the wizards and mortar. 
And that is unfortunate because now she's pretty injured and she's going to have to go invis in order to survive. So we can see here, the king still work at the wall. The queen goes invis and destroys the Tesla. Now the king has nothing to do, so he goes through the wall anyway. And now decides to go for another wall. He has been completely useless this raid. The queen is doing everything. Now look at this. He's still working on this wall, and the queen is already destroyed the building behind it. I have no idea why they're being so stupid. Um, he should be targeting off and walking around, or I have no clue. But going through a double wall is just ridiculous to get to a building. Anyway, the queen's going to go through an actual wall. She's actually going to get through the wall before the king does. And now the king finally stops in the wall right when he's about to go through it and decides to go through the opening. However, at this point, the queen is going to destroy all the buildings outside the base before the king can even get to him, pretty much. And, oh, she does leave one for him. Look at that, the builder's hut. He can go do his job on one building. He's destroyed one building. She's destroyed, like, 12 buildings. And now he's going through a double wall again to get to nothing. I cannot believe this. I get he targeted beforehand, but this is just stupid. His heroes had plenty of health left and would have definitely got the three-star here. Unfortunately, because of the walls, they ran out of time. But definitely a huge win, 800,000 loot, 3,700 dark, 17 trophies. Great job getting the champs, bro. Let's move on to show one or two more raids by my clan mates. And these are just going to be like interesting raids I pulled out of the clan chat. Nothing too crazy. This wall layout really does mess up your wall breakers, as you can see. And uh, it's unfortunate because it makes it so that they are kind of just walking right into all the fire from the cannons and archers. And now he's going to drop down his golems. Unfortunately, no more of his wall breakers are alive, so he can't even wall break in. But he's going to do a solid job either way on this raid. Now, I do have some crazy news. We have passed 55,000 subscribers on this channel uh, due to giveaways. And, of course, the biggest thing that got me the most subs in the last few days was Clash of Clans putting me on their Facebook page. This gained about 2,000 subscribers in the last 24 hours for us, guys. So, big shout out to all the new Spartans that have joined our channel. And definitely stay tuned for some crazy, crazy stuff coming up. I want your opinion on what you want to see. I'm very, very active in my comments. I like to be as active with my subscribers as possible, as many of you have seen or know. So, definitely get in touch with me. And I'll probably be doing a meetup real soon in Chicago. Um, if you guys have any feedback on that, definitely be involved in my 55K video that I'm posting. I think, I don't know, maybe Friday or Saturday I'll post that. And that will be really, really interactive. I'll be probably giving away a gift card or something just for fun. But I'll also be basically asking for you guys to tell me what you want to do. I'll be doing meetups. I'll be doing Skype giveaway call probably. Who knows? Be a lot of cool stuff though. It'll be fun. Some high loot raids. And I know I'm going to be working with Godson and a few other YouTubers in the next few weeks here. And that will bring a lot more new subs to this channel. So huge things planned. Very excited for the future. I hope you guys are too. As you can see though, he's already at 60%. Two stars. And his queen's going to go down. Unfortunately guys, somebody else recorded this raid. Um, and also the next raid. So they were a little bit cut up. As you can see, didn't exactly show the loot. But he won about 300,000 loot and about 1,700 Dark Elixir. Which is pretty solid. Nice job on that two star. And here is Dr. Yero. He is a new member to our clan, and he is using two Lava Hounds, and the rest are Belinian. So, pretty cool strategy. A lot of you have seen it or know it, and it is being a very, very effective and prominent strategy in the Clash community right now, especially at high levels. So, I'm actually contemplating learning it better, and I am working on learning it. I've just been really, really busy, and unfortunately having my Clash account banned temporarily for 24 hours was definitely a setback. Um, I only had it gone for about 12, but it really screwed me up because it was like 12 hours while I was awake. So I didn't get to play for like a whole day. And yeah, anyway, here we go. 47%. He's got the win with that town hall, and he does have his queen left, so he's going to drop it down. But funny enough, the clan name is Come and Take It. Like, why would you put Come and Take It on your clan name? That's just taunting people. What if they come and destroy you? Which is happening now. Two star, 50%. 200,000 loot one and 14 trophies. We are pushing in our clan, and if you guys want to come join us, Kings Spartans, feel free. I'll see you guys there. Peace.